I'm Sean Stern. It's Mark Stern. Go ahead. I thought you were going to say it. Oh, I got to do it all myself? Janky Smooth with BYO. Janky I thought you were gonna... Smooth and Punk Rock Bullman. Bugazi, Egg Hunt, and that whole summer of love. Yeah, but the new win record I was out before same that. Same time. Same time. Yeah. And 99 was the first one. Uh, 90, 98. 99. You can tell he thinks he's wrong because he's not. It's totally 99, <laughs> I know. We're going to have a little chat up here in Venice. It looks like it's raining up there. Hey, you're blowing us all the intro. Ow! You guys were my second interview ever really? for Juice Magazine. Les Claypool and then you guys were my second interview. I remember that when you did it. Yeah, at the place on Glencoe, at the old spot. It's all kind of a blur, right? Like, that's a fucking long time ago, man. That's how I met him. Julie. Oh, she was my assistant. That's what he said, too. <laughs> Your assistant? You better hope she doesn't see this. <laughs> like 17 years ago. I remember we talked about 9-11. Yeah. And you talked sh shit about newfound glory. Still talk do that again. It. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that band got back together. Who cares? That generation now, they all love that shit. Those bands suck then and they suck now. Not into a lot of it. Next year is year 20. Have you guys already been talking about what you're gonna do? Something special? I mean, already been. Every year we want. We're talking. About every year is special. special. But come on. I mean, it's yeah. Years. But a wish list. I mean, you know, if we can get everyone that we want to get, it'd be awesome. But right. It's tough. It should be festival. No I one mean, does what you guys do. I feel like except we, maybe Riot Fest. Maybe is close, yeah, but I mean, nah. they're not out here. You know. Yeah, and they're they're cool. Yeah. We know that people want off IV at that phone call call. We know people minor want minor thread. They want them. But minor thread like happen. doesn't seem as likely yeah, as it's not likely. It's not. It's completely unlikely. It's more than unlikely. It's never going to happen. <laughs> but how long did they say that about the Misfits? No. Well, Life Ian. happened. Right, right. Yeah. I've spoken I'm not going to say anything. anything. Um, I'm not going to yeah, tell you something just because people want to hear. I'm going to tell you what I know for a fact, and that's never going to happen. We talk to every something. one of you those bands that you mentioned. Right, every right, year. right. Every year. And circle jerks and, and hey, if it's, jerks ever, if it's ever possible. gonna happen, <laughs> hey, if it's, it's ever, if it's ever possible. gonna happen, well, it takes yeah. me a few minutes. Like who? Like Flag did it, and it was right. their first show, and it was good because it, it, it's the core punk crowd. Right. Going. Right. This is six, seven thousand focused punk on rock you, fans. right? That's what they're about. To me, as a musician, I'd like to play in front of people who actually give a shit. Right. And when I go to a festival that has 100,000 people, and only 200 people I mean, I gotta me say, play, the bands, I mean, I'll see, like, Cox Bar, Punk Bar Bowl, and maybe I'm biased. You're not tooting your own horn? No, but I think that <laughs> I've had bands tell me, like, oh, man, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm like, what do you mean? You, like, play, like, 50,000 people. This is nothing, you know? And right. Like, there's some type of pressure that people get up and, like, really bring... <laughs> They bring it. It's and like it's a trial and by and fire, man. I mean, uh, yeah, and Devo, accepting. You know, Diva went over like amazing. I was doing yeah. bowling scores, so I missed a lot. Of them. <laughs> uh, you saw the you saw Diva. Only a little. The thing that I just can't get over ever since Cox Bar played punk rock bowling for the first time is like these young twenty year old girls saying that their favorite band is Cox Bar. Yeah. You guys fucking did that. I mean, Cox Bar did that, Thank right? You to the but internet. that's all. That's what that's all from the internet. Awesome. 
I don't. Yeah. I think I maybe heard Coxpire in passing when I like when I was yeah. in full bore in the mid. I heard them on 90s, coms. Yeah. yeah, they were but on they the were coms, names, so. Right, exactly. They were on a lot of oi coms, but you know we grew up listening to Sham sixty nine, right. Jelly Go Stars, Cockney Rejects, and the next wave. Yeah. Coxbar was already done. Right, long point. gone. Right. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't last very long. But the reality is, Coxbar is bigger now than the ever, ever were. Mm-hmm. But mainly in ever. California. Right. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. But I trip out on that. There's so many bands like that, like Sleep. Never heard of them. Sleep was a, like a... Hotel. I never exact, heard of them. Exactly. That was the other one I was going to oh, say. Who the hell are they? What refused are bigger than they They sold were. out the fucking Hollywood Bowl. Yeah. Neutral Milk Hotel. They're like, oh, there's a 90s band. I'm like, who? When I saw them playing festivals, Hipsters, I'm like, who the hell is this band? They're from L.A.? I never heard of them. So, long story short, I mean, to be Coxbar is to but be very blessed. Record? I haven't yet. It's awesome. It's great. Yeah. Where's my Where's my tour bus? Have you guys noticed at all a little difference in like like last year? I saw a lot more like um, lightning bolts and white and red laces and like whereas honestly like it was almost completely hidden. Like a lot of the old beefs and fights that we used to get into at shows, like no one represented like that for the last ten. Maybe in Orange County every now and then, but not like it used to be. You know. Well, and those people don't. When we first got back together, kid, for the first few shows, especially in Orange County, we played at Old World, and these guys, they did it at the Troubadour too, these guys were coming in and they started seeing hi, and we'd stop and we'd like, do you not understand there are three Jews on stage right now? How stupid are you? The song says violence, does it make any sense? It doesn't say, let's go kill people, violent, you know, but they're too dumb. Too they dumb. Get it. And the way they follow, follow Morris around, it's like... Are you fucking retarded? Yeah, they are retarded. <laughs> are you exactly. retarded? They are actually retarded. But it seems like, you know, anyway, while I was thinking... You're talking I, about at Punk Rock Bowling? I felt like I said a, a noticed a little bit more of a presence last year than... Really? Just, yeah. Uh, yeah. But I was in the pit. You guys weren't really in the pit, right? No. <laughs> I was. You are? He's such a liar. <laughs> don't, don't make sense. I was. Did Angelic Upstarts play last year? You went in, no. You were slamming? Two, two years. No, wait, wait, go. wait. Did Angelic Upstarts? Yeah, they played. They played at the club, remember? Right. Uh, that was there right. was a fight there. Yeah, that's okay. And that was somebody we know, and that was stupid. Yeah, well, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to fucking make it. You won't be able to slam, that's yeah. for sure. Well, I don't know, man. A month and a half? <laughs> don't worry, yeah. man. We have ADA compliant, you know, black <laughs> oh, yeah, we got so, a lot of space. We gotta, I we, can't be on a stretcher. We can, put you, on, we can put you in a wheelchair and have an attendant. You need to bring you drinks. Right, right. Do you need a service dog to help you get through it? With a little <laughs> uniform and stuff? I'll bring my dog. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> The little nurse's uniform? Oh no, that'd be weird. Like a dog? Ooh, <laughs> okay, now we're getting weird. Wow, the wind died. Speaking of weird, the way that you guys are able to get a sense of your audience through that Facebook group, the BYO Facebook group, I don't think there's any real label or festival. They all have pages and there's some participation. I think more on Reddit and stuff like that. But um, like the way that the instant feedback you guys get on booking. Yeah. You know, I'm sure that there's a lot of ways that you look at that as the biggest benefit someone would have. But how does it when like you get, or you just tune it out when people with the criticisms when they're not happy with the lineup or or they're bitching about one thing or he another? He gets really someone needs to, I guess, take it personally in a way. Huh? Well, I book it, so yeah, I do. Yeah, don't think that there's other things that we obviously go after. We all love to see the same stuff could all make it happen right you know you work really hard on it and people just kind of shit on it i mean but they do it with every festival right they and, do and, and not just festival every band they do it with right. everything in life yeah. because it they're, and, and really they're anonymous no one more, knows who i keep people are that have, have negative things to say are the ones that put shit up anyway and, and i would say that half those people that are talking shit don't even go right right they're probably just sit in their fucking apartment talking shit is there a live stream I, exactly. I answer people and I engage them. You seem I, to be the one that engages yeah. in the. And most people are reasonable. PR. And if you have a reasonable discussion with people, they'll have a reasonable discussion back. And the ones that yeah. don't, there's nothing you can. You can't do anything about that. People are going to feel well, the way they feel. Well, usually if you go in and opinions. say something, they don't even have anything to say to it. Or like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Or oh, I didn't think of it that way. Exactly. They don't really argue but it. That, with but you. that's the thing. In that sense, I can be diplomatic. You right. Know? Because I think, look. I get it. People had a bad day, maybe, or they want to bitch and moan. That's fine, but you have to consider the other I side used to of just it. And come if you home from a show and just you know, 
that's bad. Drunk and just get on Facebook. I, I, I had to go. shit. On <laughs> Be on the BLI ogre. <laughs> you gotta stop that. I will delete. delete, delete. <laughs> well, what good comes out of that? Who I feel better? You have to think. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. Don't come. <laughs> well, what good comes out of that? Right, right. I feel better. I don't do that. That's why I answer them and I right. delete his. Right. You're like, well, no, I don't do it anymore. <laughs> anymore. Yeah, yeah. That's acknowledgement. That's been good. A few years, I have someone else. Well, because, yeah, I used to run the social media. I don't anymore. Right, right. You run the social media. What are you talking about? <laughs> Before Alexis was in, I was the one posting. No, you were. I was. was. I was. I was. <laughs> well, I was That's running. why I'm good at it. Because <laughs> right, I'm diplomatic. Taking... I don't want to. It's, I don't, it's a job I don't have time for. Just like you don't have time for. I just go on there when I have some time and I answer people. Oh, yeah, actually, that. with so Instagram, like a friend of ours, like, hey, you guys don't have Instagram. Uh, no, so we're going to talk about that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't hear it here first, yeah. people. <laughs> no, it had nothing to do with either of us, but our friend right. started our Instagram account and put stupid shit up there. We didn't even know. Yeah. Who was, was it, Sharky? Own stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Just shit that who even knew? I wasn't on Instagram. Yeah, we had no I'm idea. talking like six years ago yeah. or something. But now, you know, we have people properly right. representing fun of our bowling and doing stuff. You know, you get somebody like goes back six years. Who goes and back six years and finds something to find like, stuff to complain about? What is about? this? You're sexist and homophobic and racist. Yeah. Like, you know, really? I dare you and fuck Funk Rock Bullying and I'll never go again. It's like, you've never been. I anyway, you right. Like that kind of stuff. Like, really? You have nothing better to do but just scroll back. Who, yeah, who years. does that shit? So what was it that Sharky posted way back when? I think it was Punk Rock Bowling. We're here with Sean and Mark Stern.